Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I may be reached on 781-380-8888. There are a number of factors that convince us that gold is the place to be over the next few years. One is that we think the Europeans are participating in what Joe Stalin used to call, or analysts of Joe Stalin used to call, the big lie. Um, the big lie is that the Greek situation is isolated to Greece. In fact, the Europeans know quite well that the, uh, there, there's likely to be at least one or two more defaults of sovereign debt. Defaults of sovereign debt, problems with sovereign debt are, are opium for the gold market. It's fantastic. Secondly, the Europeans have what the French call a laissez-faire attitude toward this whole situation. Um, they feel that the U.S. is acting up and that they would rather be cool and sophisticated while we are anxiety-ridden Americans. And so they don't give a damn about solving this problem in the short term. They have no vested interest in solving the problem in the short term. And the latest big lie, <coughs> and, I, and I had to call it that, the latest big lie out of them was that solving the European bank situation because of all the sovereign debt they own would cost 90 billion euros. That's completely absurd on its face. But this is what we're getting out of the European leadership because for far too long we protected them from the realities of the universe. Uh, I was also interested to note the Germans are trying to back out of a major military contract um, as one of the consequences of the austerity of, that they feel they're going to have to impose uh, due to trying to solve this problem. So this whole situation, in my opinion, has been exacerbated by a repeated obfuscation and a pattern of delay hoping somehow that the Europeans will get this problem solved without a hard look at it. Um, that's not likely to happen. And absent a central controlling device, a central government, and absent a central bank, it's impossible for this problem to be solved expeditiously. And by the way, have the Greeks gotten any money yet? <clears throat> now to get back on the U.S. front, um, PPI is much bigger than CPI. And what that indicates to us is that margins are being squeezed uh, among uh, U.S. manufacturers. Their prices are going up, and they're unable to pass those price increases on to consumers. So we expect U.S. profits to decline. In addition, as we head into this vaunted big holiday season, uh, oh, by the way, one of the things I want to go back over about the producer price index is the producer price index frequently is in contracts with an escalator clause. So if the PPI goes up, as it has by 7%, you have to pay the person on the other con end of their contract 7% more for the same stuff, which you are now have, having trouble selling. And we want to remind you that about two weeks ago, we pointed out that there's been a, a sharp decline in shipping arrivals into the Pacific Ocean ports of the United States. And since you know what comes from the other side of the Pacific, from what countries you know about, um, it leads us to believe that many retailers and seasonal people uh, are not enhancing their inventories in significant ways because they don't believe there's going to be a fabulous holiday season as so many Wall Street people have prognosticated. Let's look at the basics. Remember, if the stuff's not here, you can't sell it. It's not here by a certain point, you can't get it into the store. So, um, <clears throat> another factor in the U.S. side of things is that we believe the government in the United States significantly underreports inflation, like it significantly underreports um, um, unemployment. Um, we believe the real inflation number to be about 9%, just like pretty much everybody who follows this stuff knows the real unemployment rate is 16%. And <clears throat> pretty much everybody also knows that um, the number that the percentage of people who are unemployed in the United States is at its greatest level since the 60s. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. Keep holding on to your gold. Take a look at Frontier Rare Earths. Look at Molly Corp doing some big stuff to accelerate the arrival of their rare earths. And uh, have a great weekend. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep swinging.